Well, hello and good morning once again. Wayne Hathaway with you here on Some Good Seeds. Uh, good morning, this Monday morning to you. Our reading uh, from today and the schedule that I've been following is in Jeremiah chapter 18, 19, and 20, Psalm 93, and John chapter 17. Hard to pick just a verse out of all of those chapters. There are so many really good and, and wonderful thoughts, seeds to plant in our hearts and lives. The, the verses that I want to read, however, come from Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 6, 7, and 8. Uh, and here's what, what God says. O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, says the Lord? Look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. The instant I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom, to pluck it up, to pull it down, and to destroy it, if that nation against whom I have spoken turns from its evil, I will relent of the disaster that I thought to bring upon it. The reality is, uh, and the title that I've given this is, Clay in the Potter's Hands. Uh, the reality is that God has the power and the authority to do as he wills. There's no power or, or no authority that can withstand his power and his authority. The choice of what he does is his alone. We can either heed his voice or we can ignore it. But if we ignore it, we do so to our own destruction, to our own harm. If we heed, we do so to our own good, for he rewards obedience but punishes disobedience. And although he is not long, yet although he is long suffering, even to those who are disobedient, it, that fact just amazes me that even when I am disobedient, when I when I choose to go my own way, satisfy my own desires, my own selfishness, he still is long-suffering with me. Hmm. I, I confess this morning, I don't understand that. All I can do is give him praise and give him thanks for it because of his great mercy. It helps me uh, to understand more and more how much he does love me. And the tendency for all of us, I'll speak for myself, my tendency is to think when I fail the Lord that I, uh, I'm i undeserving of his love. Well, that's true. I am undeserving of it. But that doesn't change his love for me. He still loves me. Oh, I am just blown away by that. The importance of recognizing our position, I, I, I don't think it can be understated. We are in his hands not the other way around. Too many times we, we treat God as though he were subject to our whims. We treat him as though he must bow to our wishes, uh, even, even sometimes when we're disobedient to his word. The great tragedy is when he is only seeking our good, we go our own way and foolishly turn aside uh, as, as though, uh, well, Maybe that we think we know best, or at the very least, are, we want to satisfy our own selfishness. So the, the picture here that is portrayed in the book of Jeremiah in these chapters of our relationship to him and his relationship to us. Again, we are in his hands, not the other way around. But we must realize that what happens on the potter's wheel is up to us. We can either be shaped according to his plan, according to his wishes, or we can resist, and eventually uh, we become unusable in his hands. Therefore, for us to resist when he is trying to mold us and shape us for our good, according to the plan that he has for our lives, which is best for us to resist that shaping, is foolishness. It is utter folly for me to do that. Oh, I pray the Lord will help us to not resist his will but to completely surrender to him. I think of, of the old song that we sing, I surrender all. Uh, sometimes we lie in singing that song. We, we wouldn't lie to God, but we might sing a lie to him, someone said. So important, so important that we submit our will to his will, surrender all to him. It's the best thing for us. It's because he is a God who loves us and only has our best interests at heart. And we can trust that today. I pray that'll be a blessing to you. It helps me today in my own folly at times when I fail to realize I am loved by God. I, I can be forgiven. All I do is need to come and confess and he will forgive. Praise the Lord for that. I'm so thankful for that today. May the Lord richly bless you as you contemplate those thoughts today. Amen.